One of the, in a city that is riven by partisanship, one of the things I've been able to tell people since I've been in this position for eight years is that one of the areas that is truly bipartisan or nonpartisan is the promotion of democracy. And as I turn over the program to my colleague, former colleague in the House, colleague on the NED board, Dick Gephardt, I have to tell one little story that illustrates this and involves my friend Frank Wolf as well. I, I went in to see Frank one day. And those of you that know Frank know that nobody's ever quite doing well enough. <laughs> Frank is my friend of 28 years or more, but we've got to do better. The Ned's got to do better. The Congress has got to do better. America's got to do better. You and I as individuals have to do better. I said, we just elected Dick Depp Gephardt, chair vice chairman of the board of the Ned. You couldn't do better, he says. <laughs> so that illustrates to me the true bipartisan nature of this board, as well as the tremendous regard in which my friend Dick Gephardt is, in, is uh, regarded in this town. And I can't think of a more appropriate individual to pay tribute to those who are struggling for the rights of workers in China than Dick Gephardt. Thank you, Vin, very much. Thank you so much to all of you being here. I want to salute my former colleagues and the staff of the National Endowment, which I serve on the board of with Vin and many other fine, upstanding, fabulous board members. It's been a great pleasure to be part of this organization. And uh, as we review the progress that we're making in the world on democracy, it's often easy to be a little pessimistic because we often move forward and then move back and then try to move forward again. And I'm fond of reminding people that in 1900, only about 5% of the world's population lived in what we would call a democracy. And I'm happy to report to you that today, in 2008, it's more like 60%. That's amazing progress. And while we have a long way to go, as we have in many areas of concern, we've made great progress, and it gives us all hope that the work of the National Endowment and other like organizations will continue to push us, as Frank Wolf often reminds us, to do better and to make the progress that we all need. In 1999, the Board of Directors of the National Endowment for Democracy created its Democracy Service Medal to recognize individuals who have made significant contributions to the progress of democracy around the world. The bronze medallion reads, and I quote, for the service in the cause of democracy. The medal was first awarded to the former Polish president and founder of Solidarity Trade Union Movement, Lech Walesa of Poland, and former AFL-CIO president, Lane Kirkland, on the 10th anniversary of the Roundtable Agreement that led to the peaceful transition to democracy in Poland. It has since been presented to a number of distinguished individuals, most recently last month, to the senior veteran diplomat and human rights advocate Max Kempelman at a ceremony in the State Department. At last year's Democracy Awards ceremony, when we honored the late Russian journalist Anna Politkovskaya, it would have been unthinkable to call upon anyone else to present the award than the congressman who had done more than anyone to call attention to the abuses of human rights in Russia and Chechnya. That, of course, is the man we are honoring tonight. Tom Lantos's remarks at that time were characteristically moving, eloquent, and emotional, reflecting the humanity of someone who had cared intensely for Anna and the work that cost her her life. I served with Tom Lanos in the Congress for almost 20 years. I had the opportunity to travel with him and his wonderful wife, Annette, to many places around the world. And Jane, my wife, and I got to be with the Lantos contingent in Czechoslovakia. It was then 
Czechoslovakia, in 1989, when Havel went to the castle to claim democracy for that country. And in fact, I got to stand in the streets of Prague with Tom Lantos, and we held up signs, Havel to the castle, as we joined in our little way in that revolution. There's never been a better, greater, stronger fighter for democracy and freedom in the world than our great, great late friend Tom Lantos. So I'm proud to present his successor as chairman of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs, in his own right a fabulous promoter of democracy and freedom in our world, my friend, our friend, Howard Berman. Well, thank you very much, Dick. Uh, uh, it's an honor to be introduced by you, and it's uh, quite an honor to have a role